Queensland and I'm here at the Boston Airport on my way to Tokyo, Japan. Uh, I'm really excited to be helping Toss out with an international tea adventure and I can't wait to take you all along with me. Let's go! just went to the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building, which has two towers. They both have an observation deck, and we saw online that the South Tower had a nicer view, so we went to that. It's on the 45th floor, and the views were amazing. We see so much of Tokyo. You can see almost all the way to Mount Fuji. They had someone who was playing the piano. Uh, anyone could walk up and try it, so that was really cool. It had a nice ambiance up there and uh, it's free. So I did read that on busy days, um, you can wait up to 30 minutes in line to get up there. We probably only had to wait about 10 minutes, so it wasn't too bad. It was definitely worth the 10 minute wait for an amazing free view like that. So I would say that's a must do in Tokyo. Where are we going? The moon. No, we're going to the Tokyo National Museum. Mm. What are we gonna see? King Tut. Samurai ghosts. Park, which kind of reminds me of the National Mall in Washington DC because it's a huge park but there's a bunch of the museums of Tokyo here and a bunch of different monuments to look around. So before we get to the Tokyo National Museum, we're going to have a look around this park and see what there is to see. This is a pagoda for Priest Tenkai. Apparently there is a lock of his hair in here that was put in after he died at the ripe old age of 108. We are on our way to Team Lab Borderless in Tokyo. Tell us about it, Rob. It's a museum. What kind? Art. You excited? Yes. Which exhibit are you most excited for? Um, there's one that has art in it. That's the one I've been most fond of. are on our way to Tokyo Disney Sea. Ah, Rob's not excited. Well, we just had lunch at Volcania restaurant. It was pretty good. What do you think? The line was Confusing. The line was confusing, Rob thinks, because where you order wasn't really clear. But it was pretty easy to just point at what you wanted. I got a lunch set for around $17. Rob got fried chicken and a beer for around the same price. So yeah, kind of expensive for a counter service restaurant, but there was lots of seating. We got there at about 11 and there was hardly a line, but now there's a big line to get into the restaurant, so glad we went what we did. Uh, we're gonna head over and explore the American waterfront now. A little taste of home, Cape Cod. But overall, we really liked 
like Tokyo Disney Sea, we had to rank it on the tossometer, Rob. So in terms of thriftiness, I would say it was a, I would say it was totally thrifty. It was 69 US dollars to get in, which is way cheaper than Disney back home. And you know, there's lots to do all day. So I think that's a pretty good deal for a theme park. Um, in terms of toughness, I'd say it was a toss up. There's a good amount of seating there, but you do have to do a lot of walking to get all around the park. Not all of the areas are well connected to each other. So you're doing a lot of back and forth throughout the day. And then the last part of the tossometer is thrilling. I would say it was totally thrilling. There was lots of delicious food to try, uh, lots of fun rides, and there was also like kitty rides and like stuff that wasn't as thrilling, but you can make it as much as you want. We love the Tower of Terror. Drink. You can drink while walking. You can drink while walking, so Rob loved that. So yeah, it was a really good day. Kinda sad to leave. We come back, we'll also check out Tokyo Disneyland, I guess. Tokyo and two total weeks in Japan and even though I had a really great time while I was there it's definitely good to be home. I really enjoyed bringing uh, you with me and helping Toss Tackles out with their first takeover video so if you want to see more videos like this with me or with other guest appearances be sure to leave a comment below to let us know that you liked it and I know that I'm definitely excited to see what Toss Tackles gets up to next. Uh, but with that, I'm done.